The 2020 NASW Illinois Chapter Statewide Lifetime Achievement Award recipient is Faith Bonecutter, MSW LCSW, recently retired as Clinical Associate Professor and the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Students at the University of Illinois Chicago UIC Jane Addams College Social Work after 35 years of service. She has over 30 years of full and part-time social work practice experience in service to families in social service, mental health, and child welfare settings. Her prior research and scholarship have focused on practice in kinship foster care. In addition to her administrative responsibilities as Associate Dean, she also taught in the MSW Generalist Practice Sequence at the college and in the Child and Family Specialization. In her support of nomination of Faith, UIC Clinical Associate Professor Annette Johnson wrote, Faith is a stellar servant leader who has contributed her entire professional career to elevating the profession of social work in all that she does. She has had tremendous impact on a myriad of entities stretching far beyond the university and her community by making meaningful contributions to all that she has touched. <clears throat> Fellow colleague and associate professor emeritus, Dr. James Gleason also wrote, Faith has lived her life and have accomplished so much for the benefit of so many. Those of us who have worked with her understand how much she has contributed to the development of the social work profession, social work practice, and social work education, and ultimately to the lives of individuals and families. Congratulations, Faith. We're so happy to be able to uh, celebrate with you on, you on you receiving the 2020 NESW Illinois Chapter Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations. Great. So Faith, tell us, what, uh, tell us what this award means to you. Well, thank you, Joel. And um, let me just put this down. Uh, first of all, I am deeply, deeply honored to receive this award. And I have to tell you that I'm not one who easily steps into the limelight. And I really prefer to be backstage, so to speak. So to be recognized with an award of such significance um, by my fellow social workers and knowing that there are a lot of professionals, uh, social workers who've made significant achievements and contributions to the profession and to the people that we serve, it's truly, truly humbling to, to receive this award. Um, but before I share just a little bit more about what this award means to me, I'd like to recognize and thank several people um, without whom I would not be receiving this recognition. And first I want to thank the uh, Illinois NASW Illinois ch uh, chapter, the awards committee for selecting me. And um, I also want to give a special thanks to my dear friends and colleagues at Jane Addams College of Social Work who submitted nomination letters on my behalf. Um, uh, clinical Associate Professor Annette Johnson, uh, Jim Gleason, Professor Emeritus, uh, and um, I also want to thank Dr. Chris Mitchell, Associate Professor, for their support and friendship that means so much to me. And of course, I'd like to thank my husband and my daughter, um, my husband Bruce Bonecutter and my daughter Hannah Bonecutter, for their love and support in allowing me to the space and the time to devote myself to my career and to the college that's been my professional home for these many years. Um, so, uh, so this award to me, it, it means many things, but on some levels, it's a humbling acknowledgement and affirmation of my service and contributions to the profession and to the lives and careers of others. And that, and that means a lot to me. Um, but on another level, and maybe more importantly for me, it's an acknowledgement of, of my service uh, with others. Um, I have the special privilege to have a career that not only enriches uh, my, my life, but also simultaneously and positively impacts the lives and careers of others. And so I see it as a recognition of what can be accomplished throughout one's career when working in service with others. 
So again, I want to thank the Illinois chapter for this award and uh, those who have graciously shared this journey with me. Well, thank you. And thank you. Those are very, very thoughtful, thoughtful uh, comments. So Faith, what advice can you give to social workers uh, during these very, very challenging times we are facing in our, in our city, in our in, in the state, in our country, what advice can you give? Ever challenging times indeed. Um, you know, uh, during normal times, we all face and manage many challenges. Uh, and at this point in time with the coronavirus pandemic and all the social and racial and economic disparities that have made it even, have made even more visible uh, the social, racial, economic disparities, um, and that have driven so much social unrest. Uh, we're all acutely aware of how powerfully this multidimensional public health crisis uh, has impacted every aspect of our lives, professionally, personally, financially, mentally, and in many respects more than ever, this is a time for social work and social workers. Um, one piece of advice that I'd offer is to remind us to consider and practice strategies that build and balance us in ways that strengthen us to enter and remain engaged in the work that we must do. While we've all heard it before, uh, you know, that put your own oxygen mask on before you help others to put their mask on. Well, I strongly believe that we've got to take care of ourselves uh, in order to be adequately equipped to take care of others. Um, NASW, of course, is a great source of resources through the workshops, through webinars, uh, through literature, through our connection with other professional social workers. And further, uh, in my own experience, in addition to self-care practices, I draw strength from my efforts during times of, of difficulty while working alongside and witnessing the commitment of many of my colleagues. So while many of us are eager to enter the fray and do what we can, uh, do what social workers do, you know, we help, we problem solve, we push for change. Um, but given the um, enormity of these challenges, um, just know that you're not alone. Work with others and take time to acknowledge and celebrate those small, um, of course, large successes, but most especially take time to acknowledge and celebrate the small successes. Notice those small things because that kind of fuels us to, gives us more energy to continue to, to go along. So along those same lines, you know, stay connected with others in as many ways as you can and, and can safely do that. But finally, uh, in navigating these very unprecedented, unprecedented and uncertain times, we're bound to make mistakes and others will also. So no matter what, um, no matter our best intentions and effort, efforts, we're not always gonna get it right. So it may seem trite, but we're all in this together and it's important to just give grace to yourself and to, to others. Um, that holds great promise for building and maintaining bridges and connections when we desperately need to be there for each other to get through these times.